I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American man. Right here in the center I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, around, keep going, up, and connect. Right where that dot is I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, slightly curved line down on the right. I come all the way to the bottom and I draw a straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line over, up, and connect. I come back up to the dot and going on the left side I draw a wavy line up, keep going, down, keep going, up, keep going, down, keep going, connect. I come right up here on this side and I continue my wavy line up, keep going, down, keep going, connect. Right in the center I draw a slightly curved line and now I draw little straight lines going all the way up on the left and all the way up on the right. I come inside this space and I draw a straight line on the left straight line on the right, come back to the left, straight line, curve line over, connect on the left, straight line, curve line over, connect on the right. I come inside and I draw a curve line on the left and a curve line on the right. I come right in the middle. I draw a slightly diagonal line over, curve line, and leave that floating. Underneath, slightly curved line, curved line on the left, curved line on the right. Okay, I come down here on the left and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line off the page, come back up, curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Come on the right hand side, curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Come inside, curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Come back over here on the left and we're just going to draw curve line off the page on the left, curve line off the page on the right. In the center I'm going to put a baby circle and now I'm going to draw little rectangles, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line. I do that on the right, jump over, straight line on the left, keep going, keep going. Come over here on the left and I'm just going to draw straight line, straight line all the way down, come down below, do it again, straight line, straight line. This is all fringe. Come over on the right, straight line, straight line. Now everybody's going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. This is just giving you the basics. Now I come over here and I add little baby circles, two rows, and a straight line, well a curved line on the left and now I do two rows, baby circles on the right and add another slightly curved line. I come inside this section and I'm just going to add curved lines, curved lines, curved lines, okay? All right maybe one more here. And I think that is it. Okay, 
Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is use my black. In this upper part of my feather is going to be black. Just the top part, the bottom part we're leaving white. I come down and I do this section of my hair on the right. This is part of his braid, so this brings this all the way down. Color in each space black off the page on the right. Come back, do it off the page on the left. Bring it all the way down. And you will do a way better job of coloring this in than I am. Now, I double colored his eyes. This section, first I did some brown. And then I came over it and did some black. Okay. We're going to do a couple of double colors. Now, I take my tan and I color in his face. If you don't have tan, you can go ahead and use your brown. Just make sure you color lightly first and then come back in. This is his neck, so I'm going to color this in, that tan also. Then with my brown, I loop-de-loop -loop over all of the tan so he's got two-toned face color. Okay? Don't forget his neck. All right. Now, just for a pop of color, I'm going to make one row of beads red on either side. And then I'm going to use my blue-green, my turquoise, and do the other side of beads, right and left. Okay, then using my orange, I'm going to do, this is part of his buckskin, this section of his shirt, in between his fringe, I'm going to do all of this orange, not the baby circle, all of this orange, all the way over here, and then the fringe, if you have a light peach, apricot. I'm going to do this for that color. Okay? All the way down. Oops! Don't forget the fringe on around his neck. And this should be the color for the baby circle. Okay? Like I said, you'll do a way better job than me. Then I just put him against a loop-de-loop -loop blue background because I really don't want to take away from my main image but I want to fill in this white. It's a little too white for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and loop-de-loop -loop a big blue background. Regular blue all the way down. Okay? Alright, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Native American man, all colored in, set up against a blue background. Okay, bye-bye.